All right, so I'm here with Nathan. One thing I wanted to just go through for the folks is talk about a little more detail about the differences between LASIK and SMILE. The LASIK procedure, which is really great. I mean, I do a lot of LASIK. There are certain situations where I can't use SMILE. For example, if somebody's farsighted, which is the opposite of nearsighted, or if they have a ton of astigmatism or something. But LASIK involves two lasers. The first laser is used to create a flap in the front of the cornea. And then we lift that flap up. And now we, we move the patient to another laser, which does the reshaping. And you'll see that here. It's, it's a flying spot laser. And this one is LASIK. This is LASIK. This, this is LASIK, right. So you can see we're, we're, we're removing tissue microscopically. We're vaporizing tissue, OK? Then the flap gets replaced and you know, we move on to the other eye. So the fact that we have that relatively large incision there, we talked a little bit about that earlier, that's what's causing the dryness because it's going through all these nerves that are responsible for tear production. Yeah, so the, they, the bigger the incision, the longer the healing. You got right. it. Right. So that's like a 300 degree incision, six to 12 months for the regeneration part, okay? The other thing is that as we're doing that second laser, you're hearing the sound of the laser. There's an odor of vaporizing tissue, which is, you know, it's not a big deal, but it's, you know, it's not that pleasant, you know? Which brings us to SMILE, which uses only one laser. This is the same laser, Nathan, that's used to create the flap in LASIK. However, we're not creating a flap. You'll see there's two passes here, and you'll see this, what's called a lenticule. So it's a lens-shaped piece of tissue You'll see it's underneath the surface. There's nothing that's been done on the surface at this point. And that lenticule is customized to your prescription. And then the last thing that the laser does is it does create a very small surface incision that you see right there. But you'll see it's a lot smaller than the LASIK flap, right? And that allows me then to go in and remove that lenticule in one piece through that small incision. So, Big advantage, look at the size of that incision compared to the flap. Yeah. So we have a lot fewer nerves involved. The dry eye is like one to three months of very mild symptoms, if anything. And so by taking out that tissue, by taking out, you said lenticule, right? Yes. Like that's all you need to do? That's, that's all you it. did to, okay. That's so it. So the removal is the thing that fixes the eyesight. Correct, because that lens shape, then the top part of the cornea is gonna settle down. It's now flatter, it's now more round. We got rid of the astigmatism and the nearsightedness. The other thing that's really great, it's one laser, so it's quick. We don't have to move the patient. There's no sound of the laser. There's no odor of vaporizing tissue, right? You didn't smell anything, you didn't hear anything. So it's, it's just a very straightforward, I call it the, the kinder, gentler, procedure. And you have like fighter pilot vision now. I think your vision is like between 2015 and 2010 or something. Yeah, you think right? it feels great. Well, you know, the thing is, we you talk about fighter pilots, talking about military, is that, you know, SMILE has really kind of become the refractive surgery procedure of choice in the military. And you know, you're in combat, you take a finger to the eye, you know, there's some concern about the flap. There's no moving parts, you know, with SMILE. And so literally the day after, there's no restrictions on on any activities. Sports too, that was a question I asked you when I came in. I don't play a lot of sports, as, as, not as much as I used to at least, but I just remember, you know, maybe one day I'll get back to it and, you know. You do all the research by yourself at, at home before you make come and make the decision to come talk to you or get the procedure done. You know, you read a lot of things, you don't have an expert opinion. It was an easy decision when you said I was eligible for it. The better, quicker, easier version. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's do it, let's go for it. You mentioned something earlier, Nathan, and that's, you know, you learned online. And like with anything else, that can be a little dangerous, right? And so folks come in and they have all these concerns and, well, what if this, what if that? Or I read that this person, you know, had this issue. We talk about all that when you come in for the, the screening, right, and the evaluation. And I, I think I usually kind of can put some of that to rest. I think I probably had 50 questions and every single one you answered quickly. I mean, like it, everything was shot. Every concern was just shut down and kind of talked around in a pretty uh, comfortable way. You know, you, you explained everything in a easy to understand, but also just um, putting me at ease sort of sort of way. So I came on a recommendation. So you know, I've told a lot of different people as well. All the things that you told me. Hopefully, they can come and get benefit from it too. So. Congratulations, <laughs> enjoy it. I'll maybe be flying some jets sometime soon. Awesome, <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time today. Yeah, no problem.